it. I'm, I'm still putting all the files together. I'm just sending the first lot off to the private investigator today. Okay. I was expecting a bill from him, but he hasn't done that yet, so he's probably waiting for me to put all the new files together. He's, he's got he's got all the rest of the files back in in time, but um, but I'm, I've got to put them in order so that he doesn't get too confused. Oh, he knows everything anyway. But he's probably doing search on everything uh, online, going going through all my stuff. I, I know him that well. Uh, that um, he will he will he will keep up with it. Um, um, but um, I can see something positive coming out of it anyway. Um, I, I just have to take my time. I've been a bit ma wee wee um, with my cough. It hasn't been too well, um, but uh, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I just have to make sure I'm I'm all right when I come up. I'll be coming up there on the 24th. Uh, Morris is going to pick me up at at Kau Kau on the 24th, and I'm going to stay with him and then come to the hui uh, on the 25th. Uh, 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 is the Hui going to be 25th, 26th day and, and the 27th? The Hui will be on the 25th. Uh, that will be the Wednesday. Uh, uh, then we'll shoot over there on, on the Friday at the, at the Kimara. Yeah, 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 that's right. But I thought there was going to be three days there. No? Uh, we'll, we'll probably have a couple of days at the... Uh, yeah, because um, Bundy and them are framing laws, and and Georgie job is coming up, and, yeah, yeah. and they're going to put on to frame laws. Yes. So I'm going to be there just to keep keep an eye on on that lot, and and put a bit of input in for them, um, and uh, at the same time, so when it's ready to go to to tea. Yeah. So we don't need to muck around at the tea. No, no, that's right. We've already done the hard yards. Yeah, yeah, so it should, it should more or less be all, all settled by the time you leave uh, on the 27th. I think, yeah. the, I think, I think they'll, they'll be going there to stay overnight in the Marae on the 27th. Yeah. yeah I think, I think yeah, they would... But, uh, but I hear why that Marae's in trouble. It's in trouble for, for nearly $70,000 in debt. Yeah, it's that right? Yeah, it's that right. I wouldn't be surprised. Sixty-five thousand, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because something's not quite right there. Well, what they're doing, the money that's been given for the money, they're using it to pay themselves. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, 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 I'm yet to hear back from Kingy Toto. I was talking to him the other day, uh, so I just keep him in touch before we go there. I, I think... was fed that information a couple of days ago. Hey. I was fed the information a couple of days ago. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it'll uh, be interesting what comes out of that lot um, at the team because it's um, not looking good there at the moment. Actually, there's a whole uh, tribunal there and, and uh, I, I wouldn't like to go there, actually. Uh -huh. So, so if if Hinefone is not running it, who's running it now? Who's taking? Who? No idea. Yeah, that's the problem. When when she was there, things were were going all right, but now it's gone no, different. They're, they're in Tamil, eh, buddy people. Hey. They're in Tamil. Yeah, I know. I've, I've watched it. I've watched it get worse um, since Peter Happy ever died, and and then it all 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 changed. Yeah, they haven't got a. Nothing, nothing, no, it's all torn apart. And that's... Yeah, they've got no come out to lead them? Yeah, yeah, um, and with the Ruben and them, I think they're, they're in stitches as well, because they can't keep things going themselves. Uh, mm -hmm. With with Hummer and, and that... Oh, uh, uh, Hummer, Hummer, he should be the bloody orange boy. Yeah, no. Uh, nowhere near the bloody game. That's where the trouble is, it's him that's causing all the friction in there. Yeah, he's... Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the one that picked me up and threw me out of the, out of the marae. Yeah, that's when the police was there. 
and the police told me not to come back in there. That, that was the time when the Governor General came there. He, he, he told me to go outside. As soon as I got past the back door, he threw me outside. I'll never forget that one. <coughs> that summer. But, um, um, yeah, there's some things not right over there. I know with uh, uh, Wirimu, uh, he was not too bad, but he came down uh, to the tent that time and, and with Jim, but they had something going between them, Jim and, and Wirimu. So there's another thing going on behind my back. <coughs> and now Jim is, uh, he's a bit Maui as well. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm surprised not to see him. Yeah, no, I think he's, I think he's, um, um, uh, he hasn't contacted me at all. I, I, well, he's got tr asthma trouble and that, um, but he might be, um, because he's not always in, a, in the right, right uh, uh, mind to, to travel uh, and not, not fit to travel. That's the trouble, um, I think, at the moment. But uh, anyway. That's, that's that. But on a good note, uh, I think we're, we're doing right. I'm, I'm feeling comfortable about things um, for Cook Street. Uh, and um, I think those people uh, know what's going to happen. Uh, but I'm not making big things about it. I'm just going to leave it for the, to the private investigator. And, and um, he's quite confident to, to do it this time. I just didn't have the money to pay him the last time, but I think he knows where I'm at. I'm going to try and get the shares going to get some money from the shares to pay and help to pay. Or uh, you fellas might have a better idea about that, but we'll see. We'll see. I've, I've, I've got to try and um, raise the funds to pay him. I, I really, how, how, how are we going to do that? Well, that's a, that's a burning question because I don't know how much he's going to charge me for the work he's done. He's done a bit of work. Um, but uh, I'm just hoping that I can get the shares going. My, my new manager, she's doing the, my website and um, to get the shares going. Uh, so people um, have been emailing me wanting to buy shares, but I, I won't do it because I can't do everything. And I haven't got someone to, that can do it for me. Um, but this girl, she's gonna, she's gonna, she's doing it now. <coughs> Take a bit of a while to get used to uh, website. Um, so if I can get some shares like that, then I can pay him. Otherwise, raising the money to pay him to get a 2.5 billion uh, deal out of, out of Cook Street, that's what I really thought. If he did it, he'd be paid straight away as soon as I'm sitting in the office. That's how it was going to be. Yeah, he'll probably be looking at his 2.5 million settlement. He'll probably be looking at $2 million to do waste. Um, well, that's another that's another thing. Again, he knows that's impossible for me to do. But when he reads into how much fraud there is in it, then the the value of getting the fraud um, done is more than what it is with me trying to rake money up to pay him. I really thought they would have gone on. It's a fraud to to go and do it and then pay himself out of it. It's a, it's a proven fraud, but they can't beat me, you see. They lost in the case, they'll lose again. So there's no need for the police to stand on the road this time. They won't. They'll just leave it to, to, to how am I am I going to take that land. You see? I could have gone, I could have... I hope your private investigator can see that the case has already been won and all he needs to do is to prove it. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, so that's what he's doing now. As soon as I send him the letters that I've got from the police, uh, I put it on Facebook. I put, put all the stuff on Facebook so that everybody reads it, so no one can hide. So where the police said they had insufficient evidence against me, that means they had nothing. And, and, and the fact that when he gets it from, he won't do anything until he gets it from me. He gets instructions from me. So as soon as, as, soon as I... Uh, thrown around like that uh, in the open. Well, and, uh, the, the opposition might have said, oh, we, we sort of can't defend against that. And so, you know, blah, 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 blah. No. Now, the thing is, the 
courts don't like things disclosed. So when I disclose things about somebody, they're not doing any effort to defend themselves because they can't really. They, have, they, they would have done so, so far and they should have got lawyers onto me, not the police. They've, they've got the police on me instead of going to a lawyer to, to, to put the pressure on me. And the lawyers are keeping right away. No lawyers will deal with me now because they know that I'm going to go and get them too. They're all caught up in John Key's fraud. And that, that, that's, there's enough going on, John Key stealing $13 million of taxpayers' money and sending to Clinton for a terrorist operation. That's, that's big news. But no one's doing anything about it. So I'm taking John Key into the, I took him into this court so that the private investigator can see it is a fraud. So he's getting all the information on that to see if it is a fraud. It's worth his time and his effort to, to make a case out of it with me to complain, you see. No one's yeah, complaining. Well, eh? Certainly a couple of dollars in there for him should he uh, prove the case beyond all doubt. Yeah, well that's what he, he's doing now. He's investigating John Key because he doesn't doesn't watch news like how I do and, and, and gather information like I do. So he's got to take my evidence and evidence that he gets himself to see if it's true. Then he's got a case. <coughs> he's got me as a complainant, as, as a paramount chief complainant. On, on these lands that I say doesn't belong to any of them <coughs> and he knows already that I'm holding on to the Moriuri title. <coughs> He's got all that but the thing was I didn't have any money to pay him at the time and now he might look at it differently and think oh shucks he's still on it and you know I'm, I'm giving up on it I'm not going to walk off from it because there's something in it for him and if he gets one case done he's going to get all the cases of all of them, from everybody in, the, in this country, that's got the same complaint. Not not only Mary, from every, anybody, because that's that's what he looks at. He's the British, and he, he he doesn't take too kindly about British being ripped off from these South New South Wales pirates uh, that are operating in the, in the government of Wellington. You see, they've got their laws for themselves and their own business and them their. You know, and the logs is another one I'm complaining about. Whose logs are they? See? So he'll find out whose logs they are. See? Now, those, those are things that are... These things happen all the time. They, they just keep going if you don't stop them. Nobody's stopping them. See? So I'm, I'm, I'm putting a wedge right through it. If I can get one case done, all the rest of them are going to fall behind it. Behind Cook Street. And, and there's no way, there's no way those owners are going to try and contest this back in court again. See, because the police covered up for those landowners and they're in real trouble with me when this private investigator finds out that the police was behind it all. They're not supposed to arrest me. That, that's what my barrister said. They're not supposed to come in here and arrest me. Because they had no proof then and they, the court was, in the end, there was no proof. You see, everything I said was correct, right on. Now, with the Paramount Chief on top of that, they, they got no case. Especially Hedwini, he's 90, he can say what he likes in the court. In this, now, now, because no one has got better evidence than him on these lands, uh, as being from Britain. Yeah, well, you know, his heart and soul is in what he says. Yeah, no, uh, and... His name as well. His name came with those with, with the king. He might as well say he's our he's our uh, judge. He, he's our he's our um, supreme judge in the native court. Him. That's why I put him there to bang his hand. Because the 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 British will listen to him. The British might not listen to me, but they'll listen to him. You see. He 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 he, he can say well. I'm here, fix this up to British, you see? So they're, they're, they're watching what's going on here. That's why nothing ever happens to me. <coughs> I can say what I like <coughs> and nobody's going to say anything. That's why I put it online. I always put it online because it's fact. And until somebody says it's not, you see? Everything, the videos are better than, than words. The videos are better than words because it's what you say. When you say something, 
like, oh, I say this, it means a statement. See? And when I accuse John Key of this, accuse that, accuse, accuse a whole lot of them in the parliament of fraud because one did it and the other ones went with it. They're actually all in it together with, because they're making money for themselves that people can't see. And they've left this country in $500 billion in debt. $700 billion now in debt. They just keep it in debt all the time so people can't get out. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I know. I've been trying to. I'm going up to the gym afterwards, but this thing, cough, it's my, my heart, man. My, my chest is sore. I, be, I want to take my medication today for the first time because that was this morning. I rubbed the wrong arm from Coco. I'm trying everything. And I and, and I'm stopped eating meats and everything. I'm just eating oranges just now. And that still don't work. I'm just eating orange, bananas, and, and not even milk. I've gone off the milk, bread, just to see if that fish it makes no difference. It just made no difference. And some garlic, you know? i got the garlic too, and that good. I've got the garlic and the ginger. I mix the ginger with the, with the, the apple cider and, uh, and uh, lemon. I've got plenty of lemons here off my, my daughter's tree. And that still don't work. It's still cough. I'm in Odahu, Park Avenue, up, up the top of the North Town, opposite, uh, opposite um, Star Hotel. Star Hotel? Yeah, up the top of the street, up, over to the right when you go up the street. And Park Avenue is the last street up the, the top before you turn the corner and go back on Great South Road. Yeah, I'm up there. I'm in a good place, really. I'm in a nice place. Uh, it's all f newly f refurbished and my swimming pool is... It's just up the road, not far. It's got all the good stuff in there, all, all the sauna and the spa. That's 38 million bucks worth there. <coughs> Library, everything there, but the spa is nice. I go there and sit in the spa and have a swim. And that still don't work. I still end up choking and coughing. But my heart, it went up too high today. And then I, I, I just ran for the pills. I've been off it for a little while trying to fix it up without it. I'm going to the physio tomorrow, the, uh, the acupuncture, and... Uh, go for little walks. Huh? Go for a walk in the park. Yeah, I go for a walk. No, I go for a walk. I'm going down soon. I go for a walk and then down to the gym after and, and hop on the treadmill and lift the weights. I lift the weights uh, and, and go through all the, the things I was doing before uh, and then try and get myself back into shape again. Okay, okay, Willie. Bye. Thanks for the call. Hmm. Oh, I'll eat oranges. That's my breakfast. Oranges and bananas. I'm going up to Jimson. I got some bananas. I got them right off eating. I got some hot noodles. Hot, hot, hot noodles. That's more than the normal noodles. They're bigger. <coughs> I'm going to eat half of that. And not much difference. Um, so, um, Willie, thank you Willie, my confidence in Willie, but I still seem to be taking my time over Cook Street. Um, <clears throat> I find writing documents tedious, 
takes a long time and I've got to be in the right mood to, to, to start writing. I'm writing to my private investigator. I get it all the way and um, it's tired. Then stop, go away, come back, oh, forgotten. And I'm going to try and finish it off um, before I go to the pools. I'll try and finish it off for him so that he's got something. That's since last Wednesday when I made a phone call to him. So it's been Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, now Tuesday. That's four days. <coughs> <coughs> Five days. <coughs> I haven't replied. <coughs> no doubt he's doing some search and pulling all the files out. Take a bit of time to get his head back through it, but I've got everything right up to date and I'll just send him a, a first bits. I don't want to bombard him with too much. Uh, and so that'll put him on track. In other words, Cook Street is a big fat fraud. And John Key is a big fat fraud. Two owners on Cook Street and John Key are prolific fraudsters. That's all I can say about them. And there's nothing they're going to try and do about it going to a court. It's a waste of your time. You waste your time. <coughs> because the, <coughs> the original Moriori owner of this country to Britain, 1820. That's the end of that lot. So, the titles here don't stack up. When in doubt, and there's a threat against our national interests and the interests of the landowners, the commercial landowners, the Moriori commercial landowners and myself, the executor of that trust, the Moriori Manukau Trust, then that's it. We can pull the thing back and put it back in our ownership. Okay? That's all I want to say today, um, really. Um, I better go and do some work instead of making, I'm making more videos than doing the work. So we'll see you later. Today is Tuesday, the 10th of October 2017 with a croaky voice. Uh, bid you a good day today. Bye.